Okay, hello YouTube, my name is lightfryla.com and this will be a demonstration. Well, it, it will be a video on showing you how I messed up and repaired the, my graphic cards, both of them. Uh, it's Radeon RX 470. I actually have two VGA cards in this computer. This one was messed up and this one is my default one I use for gaming and uh, whatnot. Okay, now let me show you the first problem now in every video there is they use this software tech power up gpu z in order to back up uh, bios okay let's back up with the older one save file and i will be naming it older old old underscore l okay saved now i'll be closing this now i will be backing up the same bios with this one as well so this is the new one desktop okay new rom okay and while i'm doing this i have two pieces of software which one is polaris bios editor and i will be extracting it and i will be extracting ati flash in just a second new folder okay uh, what, whatever and i will be running it while i'm showing you the problem now, in order to run ATI Flash, you need to right click and run as an administrator. Yes. Okay. Now, this one is done with the older version and it is 256 kilobytes. Now, the new version is also 256 kilobytes. So, it obviously affects uh, uh, both old and the new version of uh, GPU Z. Now, uh, why am I showing you this? Uh, it's because I've ran, um, I've seen a video and uh, I've seen, uh, basically I followed all the steps and uh, I fried my card. Now, uh, why? Okay, so this thing is running. So I'll be selecting my Radeon to show you something. No, I will be choosing save and same thing, bios.rom. Okay, it will take some time. It is a bit slower than GPU Z. Okay, continue, close. Now, this version of file has 512 kilobytes of memory. So it is, it's obviously a better dump, a bigger dump. Now, I'm not quite sure whether uh, other GPU cards uh, have smaller bias. It is a possibility. However, I have a gigabyte, which obviously does not. Now, if you uh, use Polaris editor, yeah, whatever, and you open the any of these two okay open desktop for example open new whatever you will get this warning and this warning is actually a sane one because if you open uh, the dump which is made by uh, ATI you don't get this warning now let me show you what you need to do in order to get uh, better hash rates now bear in mind I did that and I still have some problems some issues but I did not solve them now what I did triple click delete triple click delete tri triple click delete and this version 1500 triple click copy and paste 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 now when you click save you have modded your bios so that's actually easy peasy um okay now uh, if if you're using gpu z that might work but this thing is working for sure now let me show you how to uh well how to flash your uh bios uh, I'll, I'll be showing only the switches but uh, it is pretty easy so mm. okay i'm inside my virtual machine uh, because i have a lot of icons i don't want to show at this moment so what you need to do is click on start type cmd right click run as an administrator yes and the next thing what you should do is go to the folder where you have uh, extracted uh, this uh, bios uh, editor uh, sorry but you have extracted the ATI flash now I will, I will be extracting it extracting it into the uh, same folder same on the desktop ATI flash so it's in here now what you should go what you should do is type CD slash users now if you do not know your name you cannot continue but type dear and in my case this is Vlad so CD Vlad slash desktop because that's where we want to go and dear and there is this folder ATI flash ATI flash and CD 
and the last thing you actually need to do is a ATI you can either flash or win flash it doesn't matter minus uh, G minus F which is the uh, GPU uh, or it's minus P be right back I think it's minus uh, G sorry my my fault it's minus P minus F uh, I don't think that this which is actually uh, the uh, if it's minus F then minus P it does not matter the number is the number of the GPU and file.rom which is in our case uh, sorry okay uh, in our case is uh, bias.rom or whichever you have modded and bias.rom and that is uh, about it that is uh, all you need to do in order to have a successful flash uh, now uh, and press enter obviously so I will be showing you what actually happened to me so um, I would say enjoy this video because I didn't I actually went crazy true story I really did so uh, yeah if you have any question pl questions please ask and that's pretty much it have a good day so YouTube this is an update uh, I did flash these cards and uh, yeah one is already apart it seems that this flash does not work well on every card so uh, if you are uh, trying to get a couple of mega hashes be aware that uh, things might go wrong I did flash one and then I thought that I did something wrong and then I flashed another and yeah I failed miserably now the good thing is uh, I did dump originals and I do have a programmer and uh, this sorry as I said this is messy this chip over here is uh, the only chip that I uh, found that it's called quad serial flash so I will assume that this is the flash and I will be unsoldering it and uh, putting the original dump back we'll see how that goes so yeah again this is the uh, chip and uh, well we'll see I have my trusty Capton tape and I will be well insulating this because there are shitload of other components which I do not want to uh, remove and yeah this looks like this and this little dot is looking downwards so, one more fun fact. I blew the chip away. Yes. <sighs> and I found the son of a bitch. So, the moment when you have more luck than brain, <sighs> this little thing did actually detect my, uh, <laughs> my uh, chip. And I was right. I don't think it is, it is called Giga device. So, let me get my dumps back. So here are my dumps, which are 1 and 0. 0 was the GPU 0 and 1 was the GPU 1. Now, unfortunately, I forgot which GPU was 0 and uh, which GPU was uh, 1. So I will be starting with 0 and uh, then uh, uh, 1. Now, I believe that this actually would not actually matter because uh, Maybe the difference would be the serial number, but I do not care actually about that, so we'll see. Now, I do have to put this chip back, and this will be an adventure because I said there are shitloads of other components which are very small, so... Hmm. And this thing is back. Now let's assemble and test the GPU. Okay, so unrelated story. There is virtually no thermal paste in here. Okay, I did clean this thing a bit. But yeah, there was no thermal paste whatsoever. And bear in mind that this chip sits, uh, sorry, this, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So uh, this chip sits onto this, but not, uh, it's, the entire surface is not on copper. And this thing is a bit above this. So the only thing that basically hits it, it is, uh, cools it is uh, this. So. A small part of the chip is on this side in the air and the other part is on this side in the air. 
horrible. So I've put this thing back together and uh, yeah, let's connect it. Well, the fans are spinning, but so did they before. So let's see whether it will boot or not. Okay, starting windows. Yes. So this soldering number two, this might be GPU one. Either that or I didn't get the right dump, in which case I'm fucked. Okay. So, do we have a lift off? I certainly hope so. This bloody thing burned out, so it took me a while, and by the way, it's midnight. The problem with my old BIOS, the one that I have modified, is that, is one, that it is 128 kilobytes big, which means that GPU Z, I don't know what the hell it did, but GPU Z is the uh, software that screwed everything up and not the uh, mod. Uh, select. Okay, start. Found on device. Okay, be right back. Motherfucker! So, it's fucking working. The problem was that the GPU Z dumped only quarter of a file. And when I up, when I 80 flashed it, uh, it well it didn't flash two thirds to three fourths so yeah that's why it didn't work so what i did was i took ati flash and dumped the uh, dumped the original bios and i removed the chip again third time and i flashed it and it's fucking working so basically you don't need to have a, a separate uh, dumps for uh, for uh, you can mod one file and you can dump on every every uh, gigabyte you have for example I have gigabyte so yeah it's fucking working yes okay